Because our database is in first normal form, we are ready to start moving towards second normal form. And the first step there is to draw a dependency diagram. We do this by writing down all the fields next to each other with the primary keys underlined. And now we indicate with these red and blue arrows which are the full dependencies, the partial dependencies and the transitive dependencies. A full dependency is a dependency which depends on the whole primary key. So remember we said that mark can only be determined if I know the subject and the student. So that's definitely a full dependency. A partial dependency is a dependency that uh, is dependent on only or is a field that is only dependent on some part of the primary key. So our primary key is student ID and subject, but first name is only dependent on the student. It does not, uh, first name is not at all dependent on whichever subjects the student chooses. So because first name and surname are dependent on student ID, this is a partial dependency. It depends on only a part of the primary key. This one as well. Description is only dependent on subject, not on the name of the student or anything about the student. Description of the subject is only about the subject and therefore that's a partial dependency. Symbol is merely dependent on mark because whatever mark is, that determines symbol. Not the, the primary key at all. I mean, not even any part of the primary key. So a transitive dependency refers to a field that is dependent on a non-primary key field. Mark is not a primary key and symbol is dependent on it. So this is a transitive dependency. So the steps, the further steps to change to second normal form is once we have written down the dependency diagram, write down the primary key around which to create new tables. So firstly we write the separate primary keys and then the combined primary key. So you remember that our first primary part of the primary key was student ID. The second part of the primary key was subject. And in the third line, we combine them, student ID and subject. And now we write down the new tables in standard form. So next to student ID, which are all the fields that are dependent on student ID? So student ID, I should underline this one. The fields dependent on it are first name and surname. And this is a new table that we are going to create in order to start producing second normal form. We have to give this new table a name and I've called it student. So this is the name of the table. That's the primary key. I must underline it. And these are the two fields dependent on that primary key. Second primary key is subject. I've called its table subjects and only description is dependent on subjects. Remember, this must be underlined. The primary key must be underlined. And in the third table, both student ID and subject must be underlined. I've called this table marks. And the two fields that are dependent on both of them are mark and symbol. So in second normal form, and this table has now, or this database has now been written in second normal form. We have more tables than we started off with. We started off with one table and now we have three. This is our student, our subject, and our marks table. And we achieved this by firstly putting it into first normal form, and then removing partial dependencies to get to second normal form. But you remember correctly that symbol and mark, this is still a transitive dependency. And in order to get to third normal form, I need to remove transitive dependencies. So those two are transitive, or the relationship between these two is a transitive dependency. If I remove them by creating a fourth table in which mark is the primary key and symbol is dependent on it, then it looks like this. The original three tables, I've removed symbol from table number three or from the marks table and put it in it next to mark in the marks table. Mark is the primary key and symbol is dependent on it. So mark should be underlined here as well. To write a database which is in third normal form, in the standard form, we will do it as follows. In our case, we have four tables. These are the table names. Those are the primary keys. My goodness, student ID must be underlined here. Let me fix that quickly. There we go. I've underlined them. So student ID, the primary key, and the fields dependent on it is the table students. Subjects is the table with 
that is the primary key and this one is the dependent uh, field those two form the primary key and mark is the dependent field in the marks table and finally in my symbols table I have mark as the primary key and symbol as the dependent field on it I encourage you to do lots of examples normalization is not difficult but one tends to get into it easier by doing lots of examples